day 29 of the no spend challenge and it's Sunday morning here I'm busy making some uh, laundry so I have my big bucket here of oh, I'm just heating up more water for it um, I actually got this recipe from uh, so well it's pretty much everywhere it's the uh, it is the basic recipe for our laundry so it's like I got a mullet there for a second um, and it's basically one grated bar of soap, one cup of borax, one cup of washing soda. Oh and I, for, I was saying that I got this recipe from Sounds Like Rain. This is how they did it so this is how I'm doing it and it is Oh, I have made it before and uh, different variations but this one is just really simple you just kind of heat up the sorry my hand it keeps getting in the way let me switch hands here um, it's basically one bar of grated soap and you just heat it up until it gets dissolved and then I'm heating up some water in a five gallon, uh, I guess, pail, bucket, whatever you want to call it. And then you mix the washing soda and the borax in the uh, bucket with this dissolved soap. And you let it sit for like a day and then you... Um, yeah, and then it's soap after that, so I'm just going to let this dissolve a little bit longer, and I'm almost done, but it, it's way cheaper than buying regular dishwashing soda, or dishwash, I keep saying dishwashing, I mean clothes washing soap, and there's so much chemicals in and I can, my husband keeps buying it and I'm trying to get away with, away from it. So I'm making this big batch this time so it'll last me for a while. And hopefully my husband likes it so that we can get away from that other stuff. And yes, I'm also making cookies today and chocolate chip cookies and I'm gonna be using what I have left because it's still my no spend challenge so I'm really interested to see how that turns out and I'm making this video because this frugal house requested it a long time ago so it's a long overdue video but I always do what I say I'm gonna do so I'm doing it now better late than ever then it's what I always say oh and the recipe is also found where she got it from was Wellness Mama. It's her website. Um, I'm not, I'll see if I can, I don't know how to link things yet, but I can maybe write out the website in the description below for you. And, whoop, there goes my spoon. Anyways, I will be posting the chocolate chip cookie in another video, not this one. So, I will see you all in a bit. Happy Sunday! Whoops, I forgot to push stop. Hey guys, so I'm sitting here waiting for my cookies. I ate a couple little tiny tastes of the cookie dough. I almost, always, I just have to taste it. <laughs> I don't know about you, but that's just me. And if my daughter was here, I would be quarantining or whatever that word is. I would have to like block the whole kitchen off because she would come and try and steal my cookie dough and we'd have no cookies and so I'm just sitting here with my new teacup mm. enjoying a nice cup of tea with honey and waiting for my cookies they smell divine and the um cookie dough was, mm. I don't know if you like the cookie dough ice cream, but that's one of my favorites, and this 
even though my recipe is always different, it's never the same, it always tastes the same. So I don't know, I just have a memorized cookie um, measurements that you need and it changes every time. So I'm just really enjoying, I love cookies and you can use the same measurements for all kinds of different things. Anyway, I'm talking too much about cookies. Now I just want to eat some. <laughs> Anyways, I hope you're all having a great Tuesday. See, that's where my mind is. I said, <laughs> I meant Sunday. Um, I missed church today because of my car. So I don't know if you've ever heard of the Church of the Rock. They're on YouTube. I love them. So whenever I can't get to my church, I always watch Church of the Rock online as well. My church does online um, church as well, so I always sneak in there so I get like a double service. But there's nothing quite like sitting in and feeling the church air, you know? I can't explain it, but anyway. I did not make it today, so that's what I did, wow, and I been answering my comments and I've been cleaning and I'm constantly going through things and decluttering and I redid my bathroom and my I changed a few things around so maybe I'll do like a whole house thing again I still haven't showed you my basement and it's finally done I'll do that in the next few days and yeah I think that's it but I might show you how the cookies are tasting after this we'll see but I'm sure they are going to be tasting just divine. Anyways, I hope you're all having a fabulous Sunday. God bless, and I will see you all very, very soon. Okay, guys, so these cookies are delicious. I think I've eaten three or four. This is my last one, I swear. And even though they got... A, these are... This was the first batch. They're not that dark, but they're pretty dark, but they taste really good. You can't really tell that they are. Mm. I think it was the bottom of my stove is really hot because the top is barely, like, I don't know if you can t see that, but so I moved the rack up higher so that the bottom wouldn't get, and it's helped. But they're still really good. I I have to stop eating them though. <laughs> but um yeah, I'm really enjoying my cookies and my daughter is going to love them. And I've been working on some videos for you guys and catching up on some other things and other videos to watch. And that's about all I'm I think I'm going to head out for a bit to my husband's family. They asked if I wanted to join them for FASPA. So, uh, yeah, I, again, my no spend day for the 29 days now is a success. No spending money, and I haven't found anything out about my car yet. I'll know about that tomorrow. So, fingers crossed, it's nothing too major. And yeah, I hope or I hope to see you all tomorrow or the next time and I hope you're all having a wonderful fabulous day. Bye.